So apparently we need to buy some new internets for uh, our fellow players below the equator. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Actually, I wonder, I don't even remember where Santiago is now to think about it. Not sure where they are in Chile. Oh well. I'm not good at the geography stuff. <laughs> like I, I know, I know like names of countries and and where they are, uh, in relation to other ones. But if you asked me to draw a map, it would end up looking like tiddlywinks, drawn by like a three year old or something. I mean, it's pretty bad. You know what? Tiddlywinks drawn by a three year old is still art. Okay. I don't even know if that makes sense, but yeah. Five minute warning. <laughs> it's yeah. Yeah, like so I, this match I'd say is pretty one-sided so far. Play for fun, I think everyone pretty much has touched the flag. They're sort of not necessarily handing it off, but once the you know offense does their turn, then the defense steps up and picks up the flag right after, and it kind of is going back and forth. They're a little bit more fluid in their movement. Matt, are you trying to say that they're playing for fun? Hmm? <laughs> All right, sorry. Yeah, that actually that hurt me, and I'm the one that said it. So, yeah, that was, that was pretty bad. Hopefully, we can get Naka back on here. Noka, Naka. I don't know. Feel like I'm confident when it comes to pronouncing demo or RVX. One love, and Danny too. Spectro go. sort of I had to add knee in there and and whatnot, but I feel like his name really is Spectro. Yeah. That's just No wonder yeah. if it's supposed to be Z U good, good. for X I U, Z U, is that it? Can I, can we can we get a verdict from somebody at IRC? Because you know, we're not we're not uh South American, we don't know Spanish. So can anyone help us out? Anyone know? Is is X one U supposed to be pronounced Z U? Not getting any, no one, everyone's talking about somebody <laughs> named Chile. Cue Jeopardy music. Final yeah. round of Jeopardy, write your answers in, and the, not you're willing to bet. <laughs> well, most of the, most of the chatter in IRC is about somebody who's being a bit of a dick. And, uh, Daniel has the right idea, just ignore Three, them. Two, uh, we, we one, can, we can fight. kick them. I, I might do that for the next map if, if this person's still being a boob. Anyway, we have gone live. We're going to play it three versus four one more time as we wait for Play for Fun's fourth character to return to the server. Um, and yes, they are characters tonight. One love. Not going to get one inch away from that flag stand. Rockets gets the return, although he has gone down. No matter if we take a look at the KD, uh, Rockets has died five times. Make it, uh, rather, seven times, excuse me. RVX has died six times. So great KDs for those guys. Always nice to keep it under 10. And uh, oh, we are about to see potential flag yeah, cap cut short. Defense. Great shot by Rockus. He just barely gets it returned as he gets shot down by Spectro. Uh, X1U was about to bring this thing home. So One Love has haste. Taking it back. Looking for a bit of armor. Coming up at about 10 seconds for him. Let's go take a look at the other haste carrier. And it's going to be Mr. Rockus himself. Creating quite a ruckus. And X1U will jump into the wall because that's how the pros do it. Nice pair of rails defending that flag. Well done. Oh, he gets another one. Good lord, sir. Put that weapon away. I'm scaring the children. So let's go take a look at the Extreme Gamers, see if they can put together something in the final five minutes. We've entered, entered the uh, the fourth quarter, if you will, of this of this map, and Noga just uh, forced some guy to shoot himself in the face. That was pretty cool. All right, Noga going on offense, running with 34 health, backing into the flag, not even checking the flag post. Uh, he has correctly guessed that his uh, challenge would come. Uh oh, would come instead from uh, from another end. Now, can he get this long range rail? That's misses one, and he's wasted enough time where the flag will be returned. So. Um, yeah, I really need to hit those shots. X1U coming as a fresh spawn does manage 
to, to get in and get, get a frag right in front of that flag. Good lord. It's kind of back and forth. Yeah, we are seeing some... Oh, not Noka here again. 999-ing. Oh, dear. Yeah, but I think they're not even going to worry about pausing at this time. Uh, he usually bounces back. There he goes. He's back to 25. Yeah. So, he, he's... Like, it takes him, like, three times to finally time out. But, uh, big, big push for these power-ups coming up in one second. Here they come. And RVX runs headlong into LG Demo, grabbing the other haste. And heading on offense and right into a rocket. And there's nowhere for him to go. One love is going to scoop Nicely up that haste. Timed. Yeah, RVX has died. So that means both hastes go into the hands of extreme gamers. Can they do something extreme with them? This is their flag run. This is it. X1U goes one way, walks into a rocket, doesn't quite clear the lip. And so he will get shot off and shut down. RVX gets the kill. And there are his teammates to scoop up that flag and bring it home. Right behind him, but it was too far. Yeah, yeah, what you saw there was they were trying to be all coordinated with those haste runs, but they really just did not plan it out very well. Well, and the other piece of it is, had he made that rocket jump cleanly, there was a rocket exploding right on the spot where he would have landed. So, uh, I'm not even sure if he would have gotten out alive had he completed the rocket jump successfully right off of the flag grab. So, uh, honestly, I think the defense from Play for Fun has just been way too strong. And, and offensively, Extreme Gamers, they don't really um, have the, the, the kind of the timing coordination to deal with what Play for Fun's been able to put together. Aim-wise, you know, not, not terrible. Um, you know, certainly, th these guys are, are, are good, good contenders. But, uh, you know, if we take a look at uh, the KD ratios... Uh, only one is is really over a, a, a break even KD, and even that's by if two, but yeah, they're barely by, by, by like one frag each. So you know it's kind of non-existent, <laughs> yeah. frankly. Uh, whereas there's only one person demo that has a lopsided KD for uh, play for fun. So just you know the the dueling skills. For, for Extreme Gamers, uh, not quite solid enough. We're going to watch Danny. He just picked up Red Armor and Haste. And he's uh, trying to look for an exit out of the base that doesn't involve a blue player. X1U has the flag. And Craters. It's close to a teammate, but yeah, he didn't need that rocket jump. It was just going to leave you dead. Nice rail, long range, and cannot turn the corner. Rockets will get the return. Nice little touches there at the end, but yeah, they should have again coordinated that together instead of having like two separate flag runs. Yeah. And it's gonna be all about play for fun's defense in the final seconds, all about extreme gamers' attempts to grab the flag and pretend that they can get out without any armor. But uh, you know, honestly, you know, these three flag has that we saw. Result, they resulted in caps largely because the flag carrier took the time to stack up to a full, you know, often 200-200 before trying to press in and, uh, and, and get any serious caps. And then when he did it, he had help. So, uh, really well played. Play for fun will come out on top and uh, win both maps by a couple of caps. And we are going to see the next matchup on this server. So Matt, we don't even need to move anywhere. We can just chill and uh, and wait for the players to come to us. Excellent. Yeah, I definitely felt like um, oh, Extreme Gamers did put up a pretty decent game. They really were just outclassed in the end by uh, Play for Fun. Uh, you, you saw some, some good shining moments out of them occasionally, but when it came down to it, I mean, Play for Fun was able to make some strategies happen. We're able to connect some dots, you know, get some armors with some uh some of the power-ups and actually make coordinated pushes after that happened you never really saw quite everything align up in extremes favor and as much as they tried to sort of fight over you know the power-ups and get control of the armors and make good flag runs there was just too many mistakes they weren't able to hold on to the powers long enough and when they didn't you know get a power-up they weren't able to you know stack it up very good or 